compute the definite integral of e to the x minus 2 times e to the x minus 1 divided by e to the 2x with respect to x over the interval from natural log of 2 to natural log of 3. Now, we're going to use integration by substitution. Here I have a composition. So what we have is a rational function evaluated at e to the x. So e to the x is our inside function. If I put numbers in here, we compute e to the x first. So u equals e to the x. du is equal to e to the x dx. The derivative of e to the x is just itself. So I'll have dx equals du over e to the x. And then that e to the x down here, I could just call u. All right. Now I'm going to put everything in terms of u. So we're also going to move our limits from x to u. So natural log of 2 is going to go to e to the natural log of 2. OK, well, here I have our identity that says e to the natural log of box is equal to box. So this collapses to 2. And then u of natural log of 3, same idea, goes to 3. We push everything over in terms of u. So we substitute, and then we get this integral here. Now, multiply through. Then we divide by our u cubed. So I'll have u to the minus 1 minus 3u to the minus 2 plus 2u to the minus 3. Take the antiderivative. So u to the minus 1 goes to natural log of absolute value of u. Our term here, we're going to add 1 and flip it over. So the exponent becomes a minus 1. The minus sign goes to a plus. Then finally here, we add 1, flip it over. So I'll have a minus 2. Let's go turn that into a minus sign. Then I evaluate it 3 and 2. Take the difference. So we evaluate. We get these two terms. I make sure I use my parentheses so we distribute this minus sign correctly. Then when I simplify, what comes out is going to be natural log 3 over 2 minus 13 over 36. Okay, so that's the natural log of 3 minus natural log of 2. We could bring that to the inside as a quotient. Now, for me, this seems really unlikely. So if I wanted to check that, what I could do is, okay, well, we could think of this definite integral as being an area. So I could compute a Riemann sum, okay, over our interval. So I could pick n equal to, say, 10,000 rectangles and then approximate that area. Okay, so I need a computer for that. It'll turn out what I get is very close to this, so I believe it. Of course, we check our work. So here I want to see that the derivative of our answer gives us back the integrand. Now, by answer, I mean the step right before the evaluation. So our answer is natural log of absolute value of u plus 3 u to the minus 1 minus u to the minus 2. Now, our integrand is in terms of x, so I use our substitution, u equal to e to the x, to get this in terms of x also. So we wind up with x plus 3e to the minus x minus e to the minus 2x. Now, note, if I want natural log of the absolute value of e to the x, e to the x is always positive, so we really have natural log of e to the x, and then that's going to collapse down to an x. Take the derivative. I get 1 minus 3e to the minus x plus 2e to the minus 2x. So for the derivative of e to the u, we're just going to do e to the u back, and then you take the derivative of u. So here we'll pick up a minus 1. Here I pick up a minus 2. I want this equal to the integrand. So we'll take our integrand, e to the x minus 1, e to the x minus 2 over e to the 2x, and then we simplify. So we multiply out the top divide by e to the 2x. Okay, so it's going to subtract 2x there, subtract 2x there, gives us e to the minus 2x here. So I wind up with a 1, okay, that's going to be e to the 0, then minus 3 e to the minus x plus 2 e to the minus 2x. And we see that these agree, so that checks my work. Now, if we can't do all that, we can at least spot check some values. So let's try. Okay, so we have the derivative of our answer. We have our integrand. If I try x equal to 0, okay, what do we get? We have a 1 
Okay, e to the zero is always gonna be one. So I have one minus three plus two gives me a zero. If we put zero into here, okay, well, e to the zero is one, so I get a zero here, and then we're dividing by one, so this winds up being zero also. So we check at that point. I could also try x equal to natural log of three. So over here, note, okay, we have one, e to the minus natural log of three, I push the minus one to the outside on the exponent. E to the natural log of three collapses to a three. That minus sign makes it a one third. So that goes to a minus one. Same idea, you push the minus two out of the exponent, you have three to the minus two, that becomes one ninth. So that gets us to two ninths when we have x equal to natural log of three. On the other side, here we'll have three minus one, three minus two divided by nine, Okay, you push the two out of the exponent. So that leaves me with the two ninths also, and we agree at that point. So we have a little bit of evidence that suggests that we did our work correctly.